Mark Roleski here with Old Soul Farm. It's a beautiful uh, Christmas morning. We got the kids down doing chores right now. And what Leonard doesn't know is we got our first fox on the property. So we'll uh, see how they're doing with chores and be back with you here in just a couple minutes. Hi, my name is Leonard, and we are trapping. Oh, we are checking traps today um, on Christmas morning, and we have not opened any yet. So we're, we are waiting to eat breakfast and then open up gifts. So hopefully, we fix something. So, Leonard, do you think we're going to catch anything today? Yes. What do you think we're going to catch? Um, a raccoon. A raccoon? Why do you say that? Um, because... Well, honestly, I don't know. Okay. Here's one DP, nothing in it. There's another one down there, nothing in it. We didn't catch anything. No, we did not. All right, we'll go check another one. Okay. Which way? Okay, let's go. What was that? What? What was that? I don't know. <laughs> Being goofy. So, nothing down there, right? I want you to show everybody your trap. And tell them why it's your trap. Okay. This is my trap. Why is it your trap? Because I've been working hard to get one. And what happened yesterday? I, there was a raccoon in it. There's a raccoon in it. We didn't take any video, but we have some pictures. One did a really nice job. He's working on resetting that trap. How old are you? Eight years old can almost set a DP all by himself with no help from any setting tools or anything like that. All right, what else do we have? What other traps do we have out? Um, fox. We have two fox sets, two canine sets, really. Yeah. And how many more raccoon sets? Two. Two more. Leonard, what would make this a super special Christmas morning? Getting something in the trap. Getting something in the trap. I think you're going to fall in. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like when I got on a pond.
What is it? Oh, it's a fox. A fox? Did it just run in the trap? Probably. Or were you, did you just now see it? I just now saw it. Alright, let's go look at your trap and see if anything messed with it. So Leonard and I made a deal that we would set a double trap here on this. So when you're walking up the field, you see there's that big opening. We've got a tree line that runs down there to the house. And this tree line we just walked down. So from that field up, when we had the hay cut, there's these strips of long grasses. So Leonard's trap is right here. We pick something predominant, right? So there's something predominant. It's a big green fluff of uh, grass. So when you get down and look at it like a fox, it's hard to tell on camera, but there's a large strip of grass that runs right here and then there's that clump so leonard picked this spot which is a good spot we did a we did a small uh we punched in three holes put in three different lures and we actually found a little piece of fox poop and a paw print in it the other day when we were setting it this is the first one that we set and we set this for the same reasons. It's on top of this ridge. There's just a little knoll here. If you get down and look, there's just a little bit of an upgrade right there. And then it starts coming back down here. So we thought that would be a good spot. And he's shown us his butt. And it produced. So I think we picked a pretty good spot. It's a nice fox. First fox on Old Soul Farm, Leonard helped me trap it. He helped me put these traps in two nights ago. So this is going to be Leonard's first fox. Thank you, Daddy. How cool is that? Awesome. Is this a pretty good Christmas present? Yes. Alright, grab his back legs, pick him up. No. Turn around so I can see how big he is on your back. He's, He's definitely, oh yeah. Turn him so I'm not looking at his underside. He can, just twist your hands. Things as big as you. Yeah. Almost as big as me because he's on my shoulders. Leonard went and checked the other raccoon traps whenever I was dispatching the fox. There wasn't anything in them, so. What do you think on a Christmas morning? Oh, good. Good? Is this a pretty good Christmas gift? You were definitely wrong on the raccoon. Should have said fox. <laughs> Why do you think I went and got some other stuff? You knew. All right, let's go. We got to. We got to go eat. Shoulders. Hmm. You just help me switch shoulders. Are oh, you getting tired? I need you to switch shoulders. Oh, are you gonna whine, whiny boy? Got it. Yep. All right. Keep on rolling. Alright, so we came back out after opening up some Christmas gifts and visiting grandparents. And we meet, remade that set. He had it a little bit tore up uh, with our backing and everything, so we grabbed some uh, hay from the field that was left and put some backing there. Put this little piece of grass tuft there. To try to direct them in this way and our pan is sitting about right here so left a little bit of an opening there tried to blend it in a little bit found some poop 
put that back out here. So not too bad of a cut circle. It might help, might hurt. We're not gonna rebait or relure or anything. We're gonna, our dirt hole was back in there. You can just barely see it. Down in there, it's pretty deep. Uh, so our bait's still in there. Uh, so with having the fox here, we're not too worried about having to rebait or lure. We don't want to see that part. Look at that thing. He's huge. He's, he's as big as you. Let me hold it up next to you. Almost. All right. So this is Mark and Leonard from Old Soul Farm. Got our first fox on Christmas morning. Leonard's first fox ever. Not too bad, huh? Nope. All right, Merry Christmas, everyone. God bless you. We'll see you next time.